Our next story is about a long-discussed medical concept, a head transplant. How does it work? Basically, you take the head of the living person and place it on the body of a brain-dead but healthy recipient. It sounds simple enough, but of course it isn't. Our bodies are not Lego. A head transplant would require complex surgeries involving our nervous system. And the scientific challenges aside, there's also the ethical question of body swapping. Nonetheless, a new company wants to explore this. It wants to use cutting-edge robotics and artificial intelligence to do head transplants. Will it work out? More importantly, are we as a society ready for this? Our next report tells you. At first glance, it looks like a scene from a dystopian movie. Maybe even some evil robot factory. Imagine this, a robotic surgeon hovering over a body. Its octopus-like arms at work. It swiftly removes the head of a dying man and with the same speed puts it on a healthy body. If you think this is some video game, think again. This is BrainBridge. It's the world's first such concept for a head transplant. The aim is to use cutting-edge robotics and artificial intelligence. That way you can swap heads and ensure faster recoveries. So how will it work? The head will be placed on a brain-dead donor. That way it will maintain the memories, the cognitive abilities and the consciousness of the transplanted individual. But it's not as easy as it looks in the video. It requires very sophisticated systems, ensuring a precise connection between the spinal cord, nerves and blood vessels. Otherwise, it won't work. BrainBridge says the first procedure can happen in eight years. But there are a few challenges. The first is our nervous system. Removing a brain requires cutting through 12 pairs of nerves. And it's not like a circuit. It doesn't just join back together. Nerves die when they are cut, so reconnecting them will be a task in itself. But imagine all of this does work out. The nerves are reconnected, the transplant works perfectly. The head is now on a new body. The question is, what happens after that? This is a process that's never been done, so there are many speculations. Will they gain consciousness? How will they react to the new body? Will the human be able to live in a new body? All of these are scientific challenges. And then there's the ethics of body swapping. Is it even right? Can you adapt to a different body? Preserving the patient's identity raises many questions, especially about the continuity of the self. Plus, how will they deal with such a profound alteration of the body? But ethics and challenges aside, it's a concept that's gaining popularity. Why? Because people think it's the best way to cheat death to bypass age and diseases. From biohackers to techno-anarchists, everyone believes it's a concept worth exploring. BrainBridge's announcement represents a groundbreaking medical breakthrough. It has the potential to transform lives and the way we see medical science. As we stand on the brink of this medical marvel, one thing is clear. The future is now. But we can't embrace it without addressing scientific, ethical and societal challenges. Those must be carefully navigated to make body swapping a success. First Post reports from the world's second largest continent. Hello, I'm Alison Lagrange. A very warm welcome from Durban, South Africa. We get you the news and the newsmakers from Africa. South Africa goes to the polls on the 29th of May. I will track the election and bring you ground reports. Is it the end of the road for the African National Congress? And will former President Jacob Zuma stage a dramatic comeback? From elections, to climate change, to innovations and opportunities. As the world's attention shifts, we report from Africa, the heart of the Global South. Join me every weekday live on First Post.